what they did was they suspended me off the ground and I'm just hanging. I look like one of those babies in the cradle. Hi, I'm Ryan Walker. And I have a gift. I can control technology with my mind. You guys seeing this? Mac X4 would be a surrealized action adventure show. About four boys that discover a giant monster fighting robot. They're just trying to figure out where they fit in, in in the real world and they find out that their destiny and who they're supposed to be is greater than what they could have imagined. Now one of the boys has a superpower which means or his superpower is that he can control technology with his mind. It's called technopathy, and he uses this superpower to connect with the robot. He recruits his best friend and his older brother to defend, uh, using the robot to defend a Bay City against these mysterious monsters. My character, he is the leader slash pilot of the group. He's the one with the superpowers. His name is Ryan Walker, and um, he has to balance being a regular kid and having superpowers and fighting in this robot. And um, he loves to skate, he's got hobbies, but sometimes he has, to sh he has a struggle between um, figuring out what he wants to do. Play Mark Walker on Mech X4. Um, Mark Walker is the older brother to Ryan Walker. And um, yeah, he's, he's an all-star athlete at his school. He's a pretty popular kid. He gives his brother a hard time every once in a while. It's kind of like a, your, your brotherly, um, brotherly love. Sometimes it's tough, sometimes it's, it's nice. He's really good with his hands, so he's a mechanic for Mech X4, so whenever anything goes wrong or something breaks, he's the first one to go down and fix it, make sure that the robot's there and in perfect form to um, protect the city. My character Spider, and I, I, he's like um, a daredevil, right? He's never afraid to do anything. He's always, um, you know, ready to launch an attack at the enemy, and he always keeps the um, the team together in times of distress. So Harris is this really savvy guy, definitely a ladies' man. He likes to dress nice. He also is very textbook, you know. He has a lot of book smarts, but besides all of that, he. He's a really kind-hearted guy, you know, he's the conscience of the team and makes sure that they don't do anything that could harm them or the robot. And what really drew you to this show or this role? Was there something that stood out for you? Um, the robot really stood out to me. Like when I first read the script, I was like, whoa, I could be in a giant monster fighting robot. That'd be awesome. So um, that definitely drew me towards it. And also, I've always wanted to be a superhero. So that's yeah, also... Like killing two birds with one stone. Yeah. <laughs> These visual effects in the show are amazing. What is it like when you're actually filming and then you finally see the final product? It's really interesting because most of the time we have to use our imagination because we're like either looking at a giant balloon or we're looking at a certain eye line and we have to pretend like there's a monster there and it's kind of weird because it's like I don't see anything but we use our imagination. This whole job of acting is really just pretending you know and um, it's kind of hard to pretend when you've never been in that experience or or um, anything close to it. Sometimes you have to be talking to something or like pretend something's there but it's not actually there like if we're fighting a monster and we're in the monster head the monster's not actually there we're talking to a green screen or like um <laughs> if the monster shakes the ground we have to like act like we're shaking and it's really fun to actually do that because when you, when you see it all come together it looks amazing when you see it it's definitely reassuring because on the day i kind of feel weird you know just pretending that there's these huge monsters and um, I just hope that it's it's right, and I, I look I'm not overdoing it or um, n not giving it enough, you know. But I mean, when I've seen what I've seen so far, it looks amazing. There was a time we were running through a field, and there's something was chasing us, and and there's, there's nothing there. And then uh, you look at the the final product, and you're like, wow, that's real. Go looks really cool with all the special effects and everything. Do you have a favorite? Thing that you've seen come to life with the show? I really love the Octaconda. It's um, one of the monsters that we fight, and uh, it looks incredible. You know, I, I remember them explaining what the monster would look like and seeing little, little drawings, like drafts, and um, yeah, it just looks insane. And then also when it's moving around, it's so real, like looking, you know, and, um, and also the robot. I mean, you can't really talk about the visual effects without 
talking about the robot. And definitely the robot surprised me because I knew that we were going to have a cool looking robot, but I didn't know it was going to be that cool. So I was really excited to see that. And the monsters look amazing. We have great special effects people and they did an amazing job. It's pretty crazy to see it go from a set piece to a drawing to a, uh, visual effects and it walking and fighting. And yeah, it, it, it looks incredible. All the sets are super cool. Um, but my favorite is definitely the control center, which is at the head of the robot, which is where we operate the, the robot. And I'd say that because at my station, there's a whole bunch of buttons and I can press whatever I want without any consequence, which is something I don't get to do in real life. Did you have to do any like kind of training or anything for the show? Because you are in that kind of harness thing and you're jumping all around. And um, I did have to do a little bit of training before I got in the harness because what happened was they didn't know that I was going to be so proficient at it. And so I first got in it and it was a little new because what they did was they suspended me off the ground and I'm just hanging. I look like one of those babies in the cradle. <laughs> and... Um, it was just really fun because then I tried. I started picking it up and I started running with it, and they were like, "Wow, you're actually one of the uh, best people I've seen it do harness work." So that was a really nice compliment from them, from the stunt people. If you were a technopath, what is one piece of technology you wish you could control? It's a good question. I wish I could control. I think phones, actually, not just like one phone, but like all phones. <laughs> like if someone was like calling my mom, I'd be like, "No, don't do that," and just like turn their phone off. If I had one piece of technology, I'd like to have my own personal ATM because if you catch my drift here you know something funny is I have a I have a refrigerator where I'm living it makes sounds weird sounds at night so I can use my technopathy to shut that off which would be great so there's obviously four roles really that make this robot run which one do you think you would be best at personally um I definitely love what Harris is doing but I sometimes feel as if I'd be like the Ryan of the team. If I if I could be like someone else, right? Yeah, I don't know. I I've always felt very leader like and who doesn't want to be a technopath, right? Definitely weapons. Definitely weapons. Uh, I mean, I love to protect, of course. Uh uh, you help people. That's fun, you know. I like to uh, you know, have a whole team. That's a whole working unit. It's great. I actually I love my where my character's at. I love being the leader. I love having um decisions made even though they're sometimes they're hard and that's how I really relate with my character because we're both um, sometimes it's we make re executive decisions or um, or actually we rise to the occasion and we both do that too definitely tune into the show on November 11th I think you'll really love it it's got a bunch of a bunch of action and adventure yes there are amazing visual effects and um, it's it it's a huge huge um, show and the production is amazing but at that at the ground of it um, at the center of it, there, it there's a lot of heart it's got a giant robot and there's a kid with superpowers and it's super fun it's super funny um, and there's just action and people are gonna love it I love it it's about family it's about friends about teamwork um, and you can really see that you know and you can relate to it which is all viewers really want to do sometimes is just they want to see these crazy action-packed things which is awesome you know I love it as well but you want something that you can relate to or something that you can feel and um, when there's only monsters you don't really get that but in this show we get monsters and then we get um, some family moments and we get some friend moments that you can really be like oh I, I've felt that before and you can um, appreciate it. Tune into MechX4 on Disney Channel November the 11th at 8 30 p.m.